punch me back. You gotta check this game out. You don't have to punch me, bro. They made a dating game of Siren Head. Who's Siren Head? Just look it up for yourself. Alright. Oh. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff. And Confused. I am just. I'm, I'm kind of worried. I'm not confused. I'm worried. What the? F what the hell? What's your name? My name is. I decided to storm my way with a walk in the woods. Yeah. You know, in the in a melancholy wood channel, you know, we start our day, we're walking in the woods, no big deal. There's an abandoned rail track behind my house, it's perfect for the walks. People use it often, but lately I haven't seen anyone around. <laughs> Is it because of the bees? Oh, you know. The... What? Cyrus on? Let's try to get a tornado around here. Suddenly out of nowhere. Sound action! Definitely got spooked by that. Fall into the ground. Siren Head? Oh my god, I'm, so big, I'm such a big fan! This is. How I die? Oh, this is Literature Club back again. Goddamn. It. No, I can't end it like this. I just want ice cream. <laughs> no, it can't end like this. <laughs> I tried to punch Siren Head with a hammer. I always bring a hammer with me, yes. I miss, of course. What's the logic behind that? The sounds of siren head pieces to your ears. Your head explodes. And to be fair, I can't even spell explode, so I can't I can't comment on this. And you die. Game over. Does this game lead up to you fucking siren head? God damn it. Well, I just want I just want some ice cream. Oh. Apparently he likes some ice cream. He stares at me and we we Serena lifts up you up and gives you a nice overview of the forest and then breaks my neck. Well, this view is beautiful. You and Serena walk off to the ice cream parlor <laughs> in the middle of the forest to an ice cream store. Oh, do you want some ice cream too, Siren Head? Mm. Sounds like a no to me, but... You assume he's saying yes. I very much like some ice cream nut. <laughs> okay, let's, let's order some. Vanilla chocolate, strawberry, you know... You know my boy. Siren Head. Siren Head's kind of brown, so it's kind of like chocolate. And vanilla, I don't think he likes vanilla. I mean, look at him. Uh, you know, do, do, does he look like a man who likes vanilla flavor instead of strawberry? It's gonna be trap. He likes strawberry, he definitely likes strawberry. Strawberry, please. No idea what he said, but I think somewhere along the lines, I like strawberry too, please. Put his ice cream into his mouth, it seems to be. See? Stop it. Stop it. You have no idea what he said, but I think someone no along. Please tell me your life story. Well, cool. Calm down. It's only the first date. You don't have to be personal about it. See? <laughs> On the first... Mom, my character knows what they're saying. On the first date... On the first date, like, asking some personal question. I mean, ask me about how, how long's my dick. Oh, thanks. I don't really want... Ah, sure, I'll tell him. Uh, well, I had, well, I had a really happy childhood, except one thing, just meeting you. When I was young, my ro my dog ran away, my rock dad ran away, my dog ran away and never came home. I miss him a lot. Certain head stays quiet for a second. <coughs> right, he imitated, imitated my... Uh, he, he kind of imitated my dog here, it's not very cool, you know. Does that mean you killed my dog, you bastard? <laughs> Nobody 
have ever done something so thoughtful for me. Trying to, are you trying to survive? Okay, hang up, sleep. I hope we can hang out soon. Yeah. You have no idea what you just said, but I think somewhere along, I love you. First date, oh, well, yeah. First date, love you too, Sandhead. Love you too. Let's see. Let's see about some multiple and uh, the other endings, you know. Let's see about see some other dialogues, you know, like what about God damn it? We know that no ends with me dying. I know that. All right. Wait. All right. What about we choose chocolate instead of strawberry? Choose the right one. That's kind of cool. He said, but you assume he's saying, I can't believe you're such a basic bitch to order vanilla ice cream. What if I said no thanks? Right. You have no idea what he's saying, but you think it's somewhere along the lines, man. I really thought I could trust you. Oh, well, time to die. Alright. You have no idea what he's saying, but you take something around. Mission aboard, mission aboard, it's a bit far now. <laughs> Alright, that's not very, that's not very, um... I mean, it's not very friendly of you, you know? It's not friendly of you to call me a bitch. You know, it's only the first date and you call me a bitch. Yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. I mean, look at this. Get out. Playing that sh that crap for the internet. I'm playing that crap. For I mean, I don't think there's any other thing to say, but you should check it out. Check it out, please. I don't know. I don't know. If you want to check this out, it's on you. If you don't want to check it out, well, it's on you as well. It's your fault if it's bad because it's what you make of it. You know, it's all about the person. A really bad game could be fun for the right type of person. You know. I'm not talking about this, this is perfect, this is one of a kind. Like, one of a kind meaning it's the only one of it in this entire existence of reality. This cosmic plane, it's only one of these that exists.